We've all heard of Salt Bay. You know, the guy that does this with all his salt all over his steak. The guy who seems to like to dry hump when he cuts the meat for everybody at their tables. Today, I'm formally challenging Salt Bay. First of all, not long ago, I saw a video of him throwing down a knife. Salt Bay, that's my thing. I've done that 8 billion times on TikTok. All jokes aside, I've always been super curious about what goes on inside one of his restaurants. I recently looked up Nusret Steakhouse. On there are tons of pictures of gold-plated steaks, the fancy salt throws, well-dressed guests, and Salt Bay just walking around all confidently. It's time to Put an end to that because today we're gonna make our own gold plated Wagyu state that blows Salt Bay's out of the water. But first, we need to do a little market research. So let's head on over to Salt Bay Steakhouse. But one last quick thing before we get started I'm gonna give you a quick pause to go down and like the video because if you do, I just might cut the steak open later with the samurai sword. Okay, let's get started. So we are in the car. We're driving to Nusret Steakhouse. It's about 6 p.m. here in Boston, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have to offer. We've seen all the hype, all those gold-plated steaks, that guy, whatever his name is, dry humping all sorts of tables while he cuts it for people. Frankly, I think that part's just super weird. And excessive amounts of salt on the food, which, let's be honest, I'm also guilty of once in a while, too. Anyway, I just thought it was finally time to see what all the hype was about, because we all know I can go and make a steak at home, but I'm just so, so curious. All right, we're in the restaurant. We just got the menu pulled up on our phones. It is pretty quiet in here. Looks like Salt Bay might have just dry humped all the customers away. <laughs> That's a, gonna make a dent in the wallet, but we'll do the golden tomahawk. Golden tomahawk, man. Yeah, Manny, look at this right here. Golden tomahawk. That one looks sweet though, right? Looks good. Is that a good it's, choice? It's, it's gonna have like the experience here. It'll be, yeah, we need yeah, the experience. That's why we're dry, here. Good dry aged steak, wagyu, highly marbled. Cool. You may want to like get a couple side dishes. Yeah, why don't we do a couple sides and we'll let you choose a couple. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Do you guys start? like onion? All right, we're gonna pick two nice side dishes for you. The chef, I'll make that station. And at what temperature do you want steak? Medium rare is probably good. Medium rare? Right? Medium rare is good, yeah. Perfect. Okay. We have a smoked fall fish. We just come to the table with a box in the oven. Got smoked fish. Let's try it. Yeah. Do you want one? Sure. He's okay. usually not allowed to drink, but I'll let him drink today. <laughs> Thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We have the drinks. Ooh. What, what kind of, what is that? This is the smoked old fashioned, and the smoke is a cherry oak flavor. I'll place it down. And do you want a Dogecoin or Bitcoin? Two Bitcoin. Yeah. Smart choice. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. All right, oh, here is the 24 carat golden tomahawk from Pedro de. Here we go. Oh, this is crazy. Wow, look at this. You, I want to see you do the sprinkle. You do it. <laughs> you do it first. You got to show me. How's that? Yeah. Salt Bay. Oh, look at that. This is the onion flour. You lost me for a second through all the smoke. Were you nervous? I was a little nervous. Like, where did Nick go? <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much. Enjoy. I find our server to be extraordinarily attractive. <laughs> Okay, so I actually have to say, the steak is really good. It's cooked quite well, probably about to a medium, especially once you get more to the middle, which I think is the perfect doneness for this kind of steak. When you actually go to eat a bite of this, I would say it has the perfect balance of fattiness between the Wagyu that we typically cook with in the kitchen, which is quite frankly way too fatty, and also just a totally regular steak. So I like it. The gold, of course, really doesn't add much other than the look and the fun of all of it, but this is what I would call a very tasty steak. This tomahawk bone here is sizable. It's not the biggest one I've ever seen, but it's sizable. Manny, you're gonna foot the bill or you're fired, all right? Okay. You got it, yeah. okay? I got Can it. you cover that? Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got dirt in my eye. What are you doing? <laughs> so I went into that steakhouse really not wanting to like it. And to be totally honest, I'm not gonna go there again anytime soon, purely because of the price. But first of all, the service really was fantastic. And it could have been slightly influenced by the fact that we were pretty much some of the only people in the entire restaurant. And also the fact that Tahir was the absolute man and just so incredibly handsome. I mean, come on. <laughs> However, I have some news for you. We are going to head back home and we are going to make this better. And here's the best part. I took one of Salt Bay's flags with me. We're back from the steakhouse. I'm already forgetting our server's name, but he was fantastic. And I have to say, all the people working there were extremely, extremely kind. Now, I do have to note that we were one of three parties in the entire enormous restaurant. We were only seated in about one half of the entire place. But either way, the staff was incredibly friendly and enthusiastic. But with that said, they're not the ones we're talking about today. We're talking about Salt Bay himself. It's time to cook some steak. What we have right here is some incredibly high-end Wagyu. I'm using the same category of Wagyu that they're using at the steakhouse there because I want to keep a 
level playing field here. And I've left it in the packaging because I don't want any of that beautifully marbled fat to start melting in my hands. To start, we have to season our steak, and I'm of the firm belief that with Wagyu this quality, you don't want anything other than a little bit of salt. How do you like that? Salt Bay. Is this an okay form? Once we've really generously rolled this whole thing in salt, we're ready to give it a nice sear. I'll start by rendering off my fat cap, placing this down and holding it so that all of that fat gets nice and crispy on the top. Once that fat cap is melted enough to give us plenty of Wagyu fat at the bottom of my pan, I'll roll this over and get a crust. And just check out how crispy that fat cap is. It's time to flip our steak over and get a nice crust on that other side. Salt Bay, I didn't see a crust on your steak that looked like this, buddy. And now it's time to rest. Now while our steak is resting, it's time to carefully layer on that edible gold. I'm just gonna slowly put each one over the top of the meat, carefully curling it over and laying it down to let it form itself onto the beef. As you saw at this restaurant, this steak cost us $1,100 just for the one piece of meat. If I'm being totally honest, that was pretty painful for me to purchase given how many edible gold leaves I have here in the kitchen, but it was all for the inside research. It's amazing how quickly the gold just forms onto the meat the way that it does. And I have to admit, this requires a very, very, delicate touch. One that I myself don't necessarily have, but I'm trying my best here and it's actually looking pretty amazing. It looks like we need just one or two more to complete the entire steak. So I'll push those onto our Wagyu and I think with just one or two final touches, our steak will be complete. I have to say, I'm quite happy with how this steak turned out. Salt Bay, I'm sorry, I stole this from your restaurant. But right now, it's time to slice. Let's check out how this beef looks. Perfection. Salt Bay, buddy, I have to say things are not looking too good for you right now. But in the meantime, let's cut the rest of the steak. And of course, we have to do it as they do in the restaurant. But to finish off the steak here, we need a few finishing touches. The first one being the classic Salt Bay. I mean, if you're gonna be doing my knife throw, I'm gonna be doing your salt sprinkle. To finish it off, I wanna lightly put some smoke over the top of our meat here, just for some extra flavor. And then last but not least, just a little bit of fire for the theatrics. Salt Bay, let's have a cook off. Now to start, let's talk about this steak. It is cooked to absolute perfection. And let me be completely clear. The gold, whether it's in here or whether it's at Nusret Steakhouse or anywhere else, adds nothing to the food. Sure, it looks really cool and it's pretty fun. And I'm really glad I tried it out once. But don't add gold to your food. It doesn't make any sense. That steak is insane. So insane that I'm gonna eat another piece. This is of course all fun and games, but I have to say our gold layering as well as the steak overall, I'm talking texture, temperature, everything, slightly edged out Salt Bay today. I did have a fun time going to the steakhouse, but frankly, the only reason I'd really go back is to hang out with our super cool waiter again, who we left a very generous tip to. I'm gonna go finish up the steak, but I'm gonna remind you once again to make sure not to forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and definitely don't forget to hit the notifications icon or else. See ya.